Pat Founder fans, Jason here. Welcome to Friday night. That means it's trivia time. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for hitting like. I really appreciate it on your way in. As you're rolling on in, I'm going to roll on up my sleeves because I want to get my head in the game. And that's how I was taught in America. When you want to get your head in the game, you got to roll up your sleeves to get to the dirty work. That is trivia. I uh, Thank you again for coming. Uh, we are going to have a lot of fun. We're running through our regular routine. It looks like I'm a little bit loud. I'm going to tune myself just a little bit down there so I'm not blowing out your eardrums or even worse, blowing out the speakers. Uh, I want to sound good for you. Again, just stalling a little bit because I know a few of our friends like to roll in a little bit. So if you're popping in, you want to play, give me a big hi over here. Just like follow Ashley's lead. Hi, Ashley. Thanks for popping in. Thanks for saying hi. Uh, we are going to be playing with the usual routine this week. I am hoping we can name 243,000. Thousand founders. <laughs> I'm sorry. 243 founders in our big grand finale. Uh, anyone else just pop it in as you roll in. Make sure you say hi so we know you're here. We're ready to make sure you're ready to play. Historical, thanks for popping in this week. Good to have you. Thank you so much. Um, uh, we are going to be running through generals in a little bit, so look forward to that. Uh, and other news. Uh, I've got my wits about me. I was, uh, I, I put a fence up around my garden today with my father, so I'm very tired. Not too tired for uh, uh, trivia, though. That's why I brought a cup of coffee with me Friday nights. I only drink coffee at night on Fridays, starting recently. <laughs> so anyway, why don't we get started? Let's get a rolling, as they say. Um, let's do our oh historical. Well, if you care to share, let us know. Friday's casual. Friday's casual. We'll be happy to chat. But let's get started. Let's, uh, let's do some of our warm-up questions over here. Why don't we pop up with one that I think should be a bit of an easier question, but everyone will not agree with that, and that's why we're playing. So, on what hill was the Battle of Bunker Hill fought? These are one of the, this is from the deck of card I found a little while back after we started playing. Anyone rolling in? Make sure you say hi, we're playing. We, want, we don't want to forget anyone, leave you out. What hill was the Battle of Bunker Hill fought? Again, these cards are Revolutionary War cards. They're specific to the Revolutionary War, uh, the war itself. There would be two of them, and then we have a few other cards to be playing with. Uh, I see Ashley popping in with an answer. It's an interesting answer. The common thought would be Bunker Hill, but that seems too easy, doesn't it? This seems like a bit of a trick question. Again, everyone, we're just starting, getting warmed up. I know people are rolling in, and people were already here. I know you're having patience as I stall a little bit, so a few other people can pop in and join us while we play. Uh, I see Ashley answered the question on the screen. Well, what hill was the Battle of Bunker Hill fought? Uh, historical answer to okay, so you the only two have commented. I'm gonna run right with it, and the answer is Breed's Hill primarily. Hi, Angela, thank you for coming. Catherine, okay, everyone, see, I thought this might be a little bit of an easier one. If you're watching this specifically American Revolution channel. You probably know the answer to this question. And the answer is Breed's Hill. I did put primarily, though. So there was a debate at the time uh, between um, uh, Colonel Putnam, or was it Israel Putnam, and William Prescott. Yes, I got it. Uh, Putnam and Prescott had a bit of a disagreement on what hill to fortify. Bunker Hill was actually taller and probably easier to fortify, but they did end up uh, going with uh, Putnam's idea of Breed's Hill. That is where they were at attacked uh and it was a british victory technically but with extremely high losses i should note though they did actually fortify bunker hill slightly just in case that's where the battle came out but that is not how things played down thank you for the first question let's go through and do a second question shall we we shall again thanks for coming guys anyone just rolling in uh well why don't you answer the question with us in what country was the famous liberty bell made yeah the Liberty Bell. Ah, <laughs> oh, I got my screw up of the week out of the way pretty early. I was just so excited to get to the answer there. Hey, I can't talk to Hale, please. I'm sorry. Uh, historical with France. Uh, Misfits. I'm not sure. Oh, Cat is probably Catherine because you guys are IRL friends. Very good. Well, thank you for coming. Uh, while you guys are here, if you want to hit like, uh, now that I got my big error out of the way, and you guys must have missed it because I definitely <laughs> flashed the answer on the screen. Uh, if anyone, people just popping in, where is the Liberty Bell made? Let us know. Let us know. Um, everyone else, I see some people chatting in the comments but not giving answers. Okay. Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Welcome to the team. Welcome back. Happy Friday. Uh, let's see. Well, we've got three answers. A bunch of people hanging out, but only three answers. I did accidentally flip it. I turned it off real quick, but it was actually England. Yes, 
It was made in London, England, one of the most famous symbols of American freedom and independence. The original Liberty Bell was cast in London, England, after an order for an enormous bell weighing more than 2,000 pounds was placed by the Pennsylvania Assembly. Uh, it was actually went to Pennsylvania in 1752, so well before the revolution itself. So yeah, uh, Catherine coming in with a, a very specific answer of London. Well played. Uh, and Misfits, Lady Liberty, Lisa, England is the answer, <laughs> Lady Liberty. Fair enough. Uh, yes, Lady Liberty tis. Now, we're going to pop on over here to our, uh, right over here. We are going to do a little bit of Sporkle.com. Most of you have been here before, and you know what we're doing. But for those of you who don't, I like this website, Sporkle.com. It's a trivia website. And we are going to right now name in eight minutes, if we can, and it's behind my head, uh, we're going to name all the major generals in the Continental Army. Just the major ones. Sorry, Brigadiers. Not your day. But we are going to try and name... We haven't done a whole lot on uh, generals, so I thought this would be a fun exercise. So, I'm going to wait, as always. You guys just give me the last names. All I need are the last names of the people who were named Major General, and some of this is behind my head. I am realizing I made it a little bit the wrong size somehow so you know what give me one quick second i'm gonna fix this i am going to correct my misdeeds i was trying to fit it to the screen and i did a poor job thank you for your patience because i want you guys to be able to see there that's a lot better i do apologize for that little inconvenience but now you can see a whole lot better what's going on up here behind me and that is the dates that they were appointed major general now i'm going to remind you uh the date you were appointed a general or really any office gives you the um uh, uh me increases your rank it means everyone below you on this list has to follow your orders Catherine has already thrown out an answer so i'm going to start playing the quiz because i'm about four seconds ahead of you and i'm going to put in ward because i do believe artemis ward was the first major general uh let's see throw me some names teams let's get some names some generals major generals in the continental army artemis ward was already when the war kind of broke out accidentally at lexington and concord see we got lee there is Charles Lee right there, whammy. Oh, Herkimer, that's a good that's a good guess, Lauren. Uh, he was, I believe, a brigadier general in the New York State Militia. And we are looking for specifically uh, the Continental Army. Uh, Green, absolutely, Nathaniel Green, arguably the most underappreciated uh, general in the war. Lafayette, everyone's favorite, if I can spell it. And here come the answers are rolling in. Arnold, hi, historical, yes, American hero, Benedict Arnold. Uh, Washington, you know what, Ashley? Washington's a great guess. It doesn't even pop up. He was General Washington, uh, which without the major actually makes it more uh, lofty title. Knox. Uh, yes, Henry Knox did eventually get appointed Major General, though he is behind me. It was later in the war. Where can you see it behind me? It is behind me. Much later in the war. Um, Stark, was he a major? No, if he was, it was in the New Hampshire militia. I believe he was a brigadier general. Great guess, though. Uh, General, hi Diamond, thank you for coming. Cadwallader, a name I can neither spell nor pronounce. No, I think uh, Cadwallader, also a brigadier, but great guess. Skyler, yes. If I spell it right, ooh, not my day with typing today. Philip Skyler was extremely important. They needed a high ranking uh, New Yorker to be there. Uh, Rochambeau, did I spell that correctly? No, apparently not. Uh, Molt Moultrie, good guess. I don't know. Yes, Moultrie, the last. It's behind my head again. But the final, uh, in 1782, a year after Yorktown, was the last person promoted to Major General in the Continental Army. Uh, let's see, Parker. Nope, that's all right. That's a good guess. Putnam, yes. There was definitely Israel Putnam was way up there. Herkimer, New York is your mom's hometown. Oh, we'll have to get back to that, Lauren, after we play this quiz. Uh, Clinton, no. The Clintons were... Uh, in the New York militia, and 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 one Clinton Marion Francis Marion, no, never made his way to Major General. Uh, Steuben, I don't. Oh yes, look at that! I didn't think so, but he was. Uh, again, might be a little behind my head, but Frederick Wilhelm von Steuben or Steuben, I never know. Uh, great, great guess. I didn't realize he actually was promoted that high up, uh, that early. De Kalb, yes, Bavarian Johann De Kalb. Montgomery, I don't, oh, he was, that's right, while they were making their way to Quebec, because Schuyler, uh came back for health reasons, I believe gout, although we're not sure exactly why, um, 
Wayne. Anthony Wayne would be promoted to Major General uh, during the, the uh, 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 Northwest Indian War with the Native Americans in the old, what we now call the Old Northwest, uh, but not during, not technically in the Continental Army. St. Clair, if I spell it right, if we both spell it right. <laughs> yes, Arthur St. Clair, definitely also later involved in the Northwest Indian War. Smallwood. William Smallwood does get a promotion a little bit later in the war there. He, yes, he was the Massachusetts man who got pro, pro, moved up pretty quickly. Uh, Lafayette. Did we do Lafayette? I think we did. It's definitely a correct answer. Again, if I can spell today. Uh, where am I? Lafayette. Am I spelling it wrong? Uh, Gates, yes. Horatio Gates. We'll come back to Lafayette. Uh, Morgan. No, Morgan did not get that promotion. Uh, Shelby, you know what? I was just reading about Shelby before I came on. Uh, no, uh, not... That, Diamond, that is a fantastic guess. Uh, but no, not a major general. Scott. Scott, no, also a brigadier. These are great guesses, guys. We're doing really good here. Uh, Muhlenberg, one of those names I can never spell. Nope, again, another person who was a brigadier general. Really high ranking. <laughs> uh, not Just because you're not a major general does not mean you are not important. Yes, John Thomas. Uh, came in early and then was, I believe, pretty quickly replaced by Heath. Um, Lincoln. Thomas is a, an amazing guest. Uh, Benjamin Lincoln, absolutely. Another really important uh, uh, soldier in the war. Baker. No, not Baker. Cronkite. I can't tell if you're messing with me or not, Lauren. <laughs> All right, we got three. About three and a half minutes left. We have someone from Connecticut. Uh, that is not Benedict Arnold. Uh, someone from Connecticut. We're looking for a guy from New Hampshire, uh, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. Let's see. Uh, uh, oh, Williams of South Carolina. Williams. Nope. Okay. Fair enough guess. That's a, Sometimes when you just guess generic sounding names, those are the best. Uh, yes, Joseph Spencer from Connecticut. Absolutely. Huntington. Nope. That was a good guess today, okay. Uh... Arm, there's an army named after General Cronkite. Interesting. Nicholas. I don't know of a Cronkite from the Revolutionary War. I will look into it, though. No, Nicholas never made that high. Armstrong. I believe that's a... Oh, no. I was wrong, too. Hey, I don't have every officer's every position memorized. <laughs> I know a lot about a lot of random dudes, but not everyone. Yes, that's the one I was looking for. General John Sullivan, an extraordinarily influential American founder. Um, oh, we did get Lafayette before, despite how many times I tried to type it in. Great. There's another general from France. That's a pretty good hint. Um, we got one from Virginia. We only have one from Virginia after after Gates and Lee, which is interesting to me. Um, I tried Rochambeau, but did I spell it wrong? No, I guess not. He might have been a major general in the state militia, uh, which this, this is specifically Continental Army. Um... Alexander, unless I already got it. No. Uh, yes, Alexander, uh, L Lord Sterling, my lord, as Washington spoke to him. Duport Tail, that is, I believe, one of the Frenchmen. Yes. Actually, also, uh, right after uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 the war, the victory at Yorktown. And cat opened the door, and we can hear some kids yelling downstairs. I do apologize for that. Uh, talking about how they have to go to the bathroom. Uh, Dr. Cobb? De Cobb. Oh, we got De Cobb. He might be just above my head, I believe. Polky? I think you're thinking of Polaski. Because I don't know of a Paluki. I think you're thinking of Polaski. Um, oh, Stephen? Yes, Adam Stephen. I always think there's an S. I always feel like it's Stevens. Yeah, we got De Cobb. He's above my head. Uh, Pulaski. I think it's P-U Pulaski. I think that's how you spell it. There is a Pulaski town just north of me, so that's why I'm being uh, picky about it. <laughs> Let's see. We only got a few more people. Uh, Pennsylvania. And this one's tough. I've never actually played this game myself. Uh, and I, we've guessed the ones I would guess. <laughs> um, Oh, Ireland and France. Okay, um, this person had a cabal named after them. Uh, let's see. Lemoy. Oh, Lemoy. Is that 
No, okay. Unless it's under another thing. I think it would be under Lemoyne. Caswell. Uh, no, Richard Caswell was Major General in New Hampshire militia because he was governor of New Hampshire. Oh. Oh, was it? Yep, you got it. Historical, but I'm a few seconds ahead of you. Uh, so Thomas Conway was one of the correct answers. Um, uh, let's see. We have missed Philip du Cordray, which I am mispronouncing, of course. Um, uh, Robert Howe, who got in a lot of fights with the South about how to fight in the South. <laughs> is the best way to describe his tenure. Uh, he was, uh, for a, a brief time, uh, head of the Southern Department. Uh, Alexander McDougall, another New York guy, of early son of liberty. Thomas Conway ends up getting shot in the mouth by one of the Cadwalladers uh, for his cabaling. Uh, and I don't know if you can see above me, but Samuel Parsons uh, of Connecticut, who was uh, interesting. He actually ends up... Well, I'll bring myself back up. He ends up being uh, Rosen to death. After the war, he goes to try and start a Marietta in Ohio, the first city in Ohio, and gets frozen to death. So that's interesting. I'm a little blurry. I apologize for that. Uh, I put this my my I put the quality of the video on low so that you and I can be as close to simultaneously talking as possible on these Friday discussions. So I do apologize for that. Not a ton I can do about it. I don't believe. So let's get rid of my face and go back to trivia. My face is still over here. So whoopsie daisy. I'm a liar. <laughs> anyway, let's answer some questions. Again, thank you guys for coming. If you guys want to hit like while you're here, that is the greatest thing you can do for the channel because the more of you that hit like, the more new people show up. And for those of you who are new, you should say thank you to the people who have hit like in the past because that is how you've discovered me. Uh, thank you for coming. Let's answer a question. Now we are moving to these new... Uh, this is a set of cards you can't see from the lights that are reflecting, but it says the war ends. And these are from a little, basically a kids and grownups game. So we're starting with the easy questions, AKA the student questions. True or false. No major battles occurred during the last two years of the revolutionary war. True or false. And there is some screaming in the background. It is just a child who is... Been worn out by a visit from grandma and granddad. Let's see, we got some falses coming in. I wonder if anybody has any other questions. We're going to rely on to see what happens with Ashley and historical. <laughs> Let's see, Lauren coming through with false. I'm going to give it a second. See if there's any other answers. If there are, right now, or hold your peace. And going, 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 and gone. True. This is one of those tricky backward questions. It is true that there were no major battles during the last two years of the war. Uh, I'll remind you, the war ends essentially at Yorktown. Uh, after Yorktown, the war is, for all intents and purposes, completed, uh, but they need to go through the lacy, lengthy process of the Treaty of Paris and ratifying the Treaty of Paris and sending it back and forth across the ocean. And it isn't until September of 1783, almost two full years later, that the war comes to an end. So there are no major battles. Now there are skirmishes and engagements and hostilities, uh, including, you know, famously John Lawrence is killed in one of these minor pointless skirmishes, but there are no major battles. I will note, and the na uh, there is a battle in upstate New York uh, by Herkimer County, where Lawrence uh, family heralds from. Uh, there is a battle of Johnstown, that occurred about a week after the victory at Yorktown. And in fact, word arrives of Yorktown while they're fighting, and then they just kind of stop fighting and go home, uh, indicating that although we call it a battle, it's not really a major battle. It's more like a series of running skirmishes. Yes, you were tricked. This card, unfortunately, asks questions backwards sometimes with their true and false questions, but you know what? Them the breaks. Sorry, team. Let's ask another question, another truth or false. True or false? During their withdrawal from New York, British troops burned much of the city to the ground. Ooh, fun one. You have been betrayed, Misfit. You're welcome. <laughs> they can't all be easy ones, although, again, these are the easy questions on this card. And they're made for kids. Like, it's scholar, and the first three questions are scholar, and the last three are... I'm sorry, the first three are student, and the last three are scholar. Because it's for parents to play with their kids and have everyone be a little challenged. 
Uh, Troy, hey Troy, thanks for coming. Uh, you made it in time this week. We appreciate you being here. We're gonna need you later. Um, true. Uh, uh, Troy saying false. Ashley saying false. Misfits saying true. People feel confused now. <laughs> no one's real sure where I'm going with these. True or false? The, during their withdrawal, the British troops burned much of New York City to the ground in 1783. I see a bunch of answers coming in. You are a rebel. I'm a loner, Daddy. You're a rebel. The answer is false. Now, New York City did burn substantially during the war, and that's why this gets a bit confused, but it's not while they're leaving New York. I'll remind you, the war had essentially been over. Peace had been declared, and during the negotiations, there was a a, a um an agreement to hand things over peacefully. And, and that was an important agreement we discussed recently, I believe, uh, that it wasn't that British were just going to burn things to the ground and leave. No, they were handing it over peaceably. And the thing is, uh, uh, hey, Nick, thanks for coming. Um, it was in 1776 when the British invaded New York City in the first place, several years earlier, that the um, that a substantial portion of New York City burned. Now, the question is, historically, we still don't know who burned it. It was probably an accident. The Americans blamed the British. The British blamed the Americans who were then, they were the ones evacuating New York City. So that's why it's a bit confusing. Uh, let's see. Uh, they did grease the flagpole. Yes, I thought we were talking about 1776. Nope. When the just during their withdrawal from New York, British troops burned most of New York City. Uh, I can understand. I can understand how you misunderstood that question. Uh, absolutely. During the Americans' withdrawal from New York. Now, yeah, but that's not. That's not it. Question. And I almost just gave this away during my explanation on the last one. How many years did the Revolutionary War last? I'm drinking some of my coffee. This is Friday night. I'm going to stay up late tonight. How's that sound? <laughs> Guys, thank you for coming. Oh, bang, bang, bang. Sorry. I should not put my... I should put it down on this little soft thing here. That makes it not so loud when I put it... Oh, that time it was fine. Again, how many years? There's a lot of us playing tonight, and there's not a lot of answers coming through this. Are you, you guys, like, counting on your fingers? <laughs> I'm not making fun of you. I'm a finger counter, too. <laughs> Sweat it. I will say, if you're having trouble coming up with the answer, it might help you think if you hit like. That could that could help you figure out the answer. <laughs> oh, desperately calling for likes. What do you know? But you know what? There are 12 people playing right now, and that's because you guys have hit like over the past few weeks while we're playing. Uh, YouTube is telling me uh, it's having some trouble keeping me not blurry, which explains why I'm blurry. I do apologize for that. Hopefully the sound is good. Now we get mostly eights for answers. I do see a nine in there and a seven in there, and yeah, which means everyone has the gist of it right. Eight. It was an eight-year war from the outbreak in 1775 in Massachusetts to the actual cessation of hostilities uh, when the Treaty of Paris was signed in September of 1783. There are some technicalities there. Uh, so, so see, Diamond, I see what you're saying. Till Yorktown. That's when the fighting ended, uh, which would have made it, what, six years uh, from 75 to 80, uh, to 81. But no, technically things didn't end until then. Uh, and it could be argued a lot of different ways. So <laughs> I'm not too worried about you getting it wrong. Please don't leave. <laughs> Please stick around. We're having fun here. Let's go to the next question. Uh, uh, but technically on a technicality, the shot heard around the world. April 19th, 1775, uh, and the signing of the Treaty of Paris, uh, 1780, September 1783. I don't remember the exact date. I would be lying if I did. Uh, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? Oh, okay. Let's get rid of these questions and go to the next one. There, that's what I'm doing, is asking you, in what year did British troops finally leave America? I like how the question is, like, so desperate about it. <laughs> what year did they finally leave? Uh, I just remembered a meme about how American we are uh, by one-upping seven years war. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, you think seven years is a good war? I'll show you. Uh, I will note we just moved up from the student to the scholar level. I will also note I've gotten a little bit ahead of you because of YouTube's buffering, so I do apologize for that. I will be stalling as best I can until you guys can come through with your answers. Uh, I think I'm about six seconds ahead of you, so do apologize for that. Uh, let's see. 
In what year did they finally leave America? All right, we got historical with 1781, Ashley 1783, Lauren 1785, Nick with too many answers to, <laughs> to be fair. Uh, Misfit with 1783 and Troy with 1783. I'm assuming some people might come through in the next few seconds. I know I'm a little bit ahead of a few people, so I do apologize. There you are, Catherine. You're who I was waiting for, 1783. The answer technically, as I was just saying, was 1783. I did kind of give it away in the last answer, and I try not to spoil future questions. I do my best. Uh, 1783 uh, was when the Treaty of Paris was signed. Uh, you can argue uh, other things. Uh, 1781, uh, oh, oh, uh, no, when did they leave? No, they actually left, actually it was November 25th, 1783. See, that date I do know, because Washington then enters New York City, has some dinners, then goes back to uh, Philadelphia, uh, not Philadelphia, uh, uh, wherever Continental Congress was sitting at the time, to resign officially, maybe Annapolis. I don't re I, I remember exactly. They were moving around a little bit at that point. Uh, resigns his commission and then goes home to have Christmas with Martha for the first time in eight years. It's a beautiful story. Uh, uh, the news takes a long time, so the British must have... Uh, I can definitely see why you're saying that, but the Brit the news had returned of the September signing of the Treaty of Paris sometime in October, and then they made arrangements to leave that November. Uh, very close to 1784. I absolutely see how you would have reasoned that out. Um, did our deserters say permanent? Okay, fair enough, Lauren. Fair enough. Let's move on to our next fun question. How many continental, how many soldiers in the continental army were killed during the war? 25,000, 250,000, or 2 million? So, Nick, you, uh, that is absolutely fair. Uh, the British did remain in the forts until the Jay Treaty, essentially, of 1794. So if you really want to know when they left, it was way after that. Uh, several of the forts were still occupied, a thing people were not happy about. Let's see. Uh, Warren with 50,000. Okay, not one of the answers were provided here. Uh, and I almost, I, the card has these answers. I almost left the answers off to let you guys just wildly guess. Um, uh, so... These are, of course, speculative. There are... This question is tough because it says killed and doesn't really say died of disease, which would have doubled the number, Lauren. Uh, and it is specifically Continental Army, which probably leaves out a good amount of militia whose records were much poorly kept. And records were... One of the fun things about the American Revolution is records were kept really well, uh, but still records were poorly kept. And the answer is what most of you came across with, uh, 25,000. Um, yours included wounded. Okay, I didn't know if it was sick and wounded, but yeah, uh, the, the, the going estimate of the total American soldiers that died was 25,000, a not insignificant number. Uh, again, Philadelphia at this point was the largest city in North America, and it was, uh, uh, British North America, and it was, uh, about 20, between 20 and 30,000 people at the time, so, uh, a, a lot of people, <laughs> Uh, very cool. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, militias or Continental Army. This says specifically Continental Army. Um, I believe the number with militias and the sick is closer to what Lauren said, about 50,000. Um, again, I'm not, I'm not positive on the number. A lot of what I read conflicts with what I read elsewhere. Um, and, and they are estimations. Uh, it was definitely less than 250,000 and definitely less than 2 million because 2 million would have been about half of the people living in North America. Uh, but anyway, lots of fun. Bounce over to another question here. Question numero eight. The Continental Army remained camped outside what city during the last two years of the war? Continental Army remained camped outside what city during the last two years of the war? Look down right here and be really rude for a second. Uh, well, you guys answer. Tell me, where, what city was the Continental Army camped outside of for the last two years of the war? Okay, think care of private business. We're live. And I think that's the first time I've ever picked up my phone in the what, like year of doing trivia? <laughs> so, I apologize. Okay, Catherine saying Morristown. Troy with New York. Ashley with her classic Philly, maybe? Uh, Diamond is Trenton. <laughs> Lauren saying New York. 
and Nick saying Newburgh, New York. Now, I know some more answers are probably going to come through, but the answer on the card is New York. <laughs> now, I believe they mean New York City. And in a fashion, they were camped out inside New York City because they were waiting for the British to leave. However, they were stationed for the last two years. After Yorktown, they moved north to wait for the British to leave New York City, which was the only major city they occupied after the Battle of Yorktown for any extensive amount of time. But they were in Newburgh, New York. And I, I want to say Newburgh is the right answer, but to be fair, the question says what city were they outside of, and they were in Newburgh. No, they were actually outside the town of Newburgh. So I'm going to give double plus points to Nick for saying Newburgh. Even though it's not what the card said, I think it's right. But we're having fun here. So a million points to you, Nick. Congratulations. Points are meaningless. I make them up. Okay. We're moving on to our Constitution cards now. Now, these cards are about aren't necessarily about the American Revolution. They are generally about the Constitution itself. But this week I pulled out one that is about the American Revolution. It's about George Mason. Why did George Mason decline to sign the Constitution? George Mason was a leader of Virginia before the Revolution started. He was a leader, leading thinker when it comes to uh, uh, the revolution, uh, you know, the complaints against the king. Uh, he did some things that I don't want to give away this answer, but did some things in Virginia when they were creating the new government after independence. And then he leaves Virginia for one of the few times in his life to go to Philadelphia, attends the Constitutional Convention and says, I'm not going to sign that thing. Let's see. Uh, Misfits, something about the Bill of Rights. Okay, we'll see. Uh, Nick, LOL, just remembered Washington's speech there. Yes, Newburgh speech. Love it. I actually have a t-shirt uh, for sale on my website with uh, the quote, uh, you will you will permit me to put on my spectacles, George Washington. Because it's, it sounds like a silly quote, but it is one of the most important lines in American history. So if you're interested, check it out. Um, link in the description. Uh, Angela, no Bill of Rights. Historical, he was an anti-federalist. Uh, um, I skipped one. Catherine, believe give too much power to the central government. Uh, was absent a Bill of Rights, no blue ink in the day. I know. It's funny, Troy, I used to be a blue ink user since about 10 years ago. I'm nothing but black ink. Definitely no pencils. They're too scratchy. Sorry, pencil fans. Please don't unsubscribe because you like pencils and I don't. Um, Bill of Rights, federal law, I thought the Constitution gave too much power to the government. Okay, so the answer at its core is the lack of a Bill of Rights. So anyone who mentioned anything regarding a Bill of Rights is right, according to the card and according to me. Now, anyone who said anything else is also right. The truth is, George Mason had a laundry list of complaints, and any of your answers are not wrong. And he did become a leading anti-federalist and tried to get the Constitution prohibited in Virginia. Not prohibited, he tried to, he was anti-ratification. But the main concern of his was the lack of a Bill of Rights. And this is extremely notable because when Virginia wrote its Bill of wrote its Constitution, not only did George Mason help author the state constitution, but he authored the Virginia Bill of Rights. And uh, expressly delineating rights was very important to him uh, in a fashion like we heard in the Impartial Observer just a week ago. Um, so... Again, everything else is also right. He had a lot of complaints, but it was the lack of a Bill of Rights. He wanted people's rights specifically outlined. And, and as we've discussed in, recently, if you've been watching my other videos, many anti-federalist arguments were that um, a, the federalists were saying, Hamilton very specifically says, I think it's in Federalist 24, I'm not sure exactly which one, but Hamilton specifically says in a federalist paper, uh, we don't need a Bill of Rights because the states have Bills of Rights. And the anti-federalist argument is, no, the supremacy clause in the United States Constitution says that the Constitution uh, is the number one government. So it can override anything in a state government, including those bills of rights. So uh, George Mason, whammy, great name to know. Uh, I hope you learned something here. So next and final question before we do our big fun time party time. And Diamond, I, I don't recognize you coming along before. I'm glad you're here and you might like what we're about to do. But let's answer this one last question from our What Happened Here American Revolution cards. What happened here? What happened in London, England on August 23rd, 1775? August 
1775. What happened here? In London. What happened there, I should say, because I'm not in London. I don't know if you can tell from my accent. Or the background. <laughs> that I'm not in London. Uh, you can't. The background... My room could theoretically be in London, I suppose. Uh, I'm taking a sip of my coffee because it's Friday night. Oh, God. Let's see. Uh, after everyone leaves school, no one uses a pencil. Well played, Ashley. I've seen pencils about in my life, and they're uh, so scratchy. Uh, I use pencils. Oh, oh, Don. Okay, fair enough. If you have to erase something, then I, I will concede. Pencil is a superior, a, blah, 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 a superior item if you are in a situation where erasing might be necessary. Okay. Uh, Troy, Jean, do, 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 do. okay, historical proclamation of rebellion. Troy, King George declared the colonies, quote, in rebellion. Uh, Ashley, did they receive the Olive Branch Treaty? Uh, Nick, King George III, declares America in rebellion. Rebelton. The answer is yes, you're all pretty much right. Uh, George III issued the proclamation of rebellion. Uh, interesting uh, note about, uh, Ashley, your, your question is good. Uh, did they receive the Olive Branch Treaty? I don't believe the Olive Branch Treaty, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but I don't believe the Olive Branch Treaty arrived by the time King George issued the the third, the proclamation. Uh, I don't think he cared either way when he got it. <laughs> um, excuse me. Uh, the Olive Branch petition is a lot more important in America than it was <laughs> over in England at the time. Uh, but yes, the proclamation of rebellion, uh, where it declared, quote, uh, the, that the colonies were, quote, traitoriously preparing, ordering, and levying war, end quote, uh, against England and vowing to, quote, suppress the rebellion and bring the traitors to justice. It did not go according to plan. Okay. Bring myself back up here real quick. Still a little blurry. I do apologize for that. But here it is, guys. I know most of you have been here. And most of you know what's about to happen. But for those of you who don't, those of you who are new here, we are about to play a game where we want to name essentially every American founder we can think of. Now, the, the goal is, I'm about to bring it up on screen. It's on the website, sporkle.com. And all I need from you are last names. Now, we are looking at the legislative branch of the American Revolution. And while it's not every person who was ever in the Continental Congress, it is everyone who signed, uh, everyone who went to the first Continental Congress, Anyone who signed the Declaration, signed the Articles of Confederation, attended the Constitutional Convention, or were in the first House of Representatives, or the first United States Senate. It is a list of 243 names. Our going record is 241. We fell too short one time, but a lot of us are here today. I think this is the day. A lot of us are here. I will remind you, if... You say a name and you think I missed it, I'm going to say them all out loud to try and make sure we get it. If you think I missed it, say it again. If you think someone else might have said it, but you're not sure, say it again. It's better to say a name twice than not say it at all. I'll be happy to keep typing until my fingers fall off. That being said, I, I want to see what, okay, did the Olive, did they, did King George see, there was a good question. I got to go look at, okay, yeah, we'll look that up. I will, we will get back to the Olive Branch. Maybe I'll make a video about the Olive Branch this week. Anyway. I'm going to pop over, I got to figure out which, which is the right button. This is it. Now we're going over here to the big board. It's a big board. I'm going to move myself over here. We have 20 minutes and I know it seems like a long time. It is not. Uh, also diamond, I will use your pencil for this. Okay. You're talking about pencils. Okay. Now this is what I like to do. I'm going to hit play because I'm a few seconds ahead of you. I'm going to remind you, we should start with the big six. Because we don't want to lose the big six. That would be the worst case scenario. Is to miss one of the major founders. As soon as one name at a time, guys. Don't come at me with 20 names. It's a lot of typing. As soon as I see a name, I as soon as I see a name that's gonna be on there, go. Okay, well let me do this. One, two, three, go. As soon as I see a name, I'm gonna hit go. But I'm waiting for you guys. So we're all on the same page. There it is, Ashley, getting us going. Hamilton, Washington, Adams. All right. All done. We did it. No, we didn't. Jefferson, there it is. Okay, everyone likes Jefferson. Jay, good one. Ward, absolutely. Monroe, Sherman. 
Oh, uh, one of my favorites, Roger Sherman. Madison, Cole. There's an S, Cole with an S. I gave it to you. Dickinson, yeah. Going to be finishing up his life with, I just, uh, cling on. Uh, talked to Dr. Jane yesterday. That's coming up on Monday. Pierce, Chase, Hosmer, Morris, Clark, Bland. Good, y'all. We're off to a good start. Scott, Harrison, Dehart. De There's Dehart, huh? White, with, I'm sorry. Hall, Lee. That's a bunch of them. Izzard, yes. Livingston, absolutely. Henry, Hancock, Payne, Dayton, Sherman, we just did. Pendleton, Hawthorne, with an E. Hawthorne. I tried it. I always feel like that's right, but it doesn't work. Mason. Yeah, we're just talking about him. Fitz Simmons. Absolutely. Williams. Oh, you guys are coming in. Franklin. We almost missed Franklin. Oh, no. Uger. Williamson. Braxton. Gary. Washington. We got Washington. Okay, good. We got Washington. Nelson. Hopkins. Williams. Did we just do? Yes, that's okay. Quipple. Hopkinson. Mason. We just did. Hawkins. Hopkinson, do we do that? Yes. Lawrence, Bannister, Cole, we just did. Bourne, Folsom, Madison, do we do? Yes. Stockton, Hart, good one. Biddle, Page, Rutledge is at least two. Martin, Otis, Sylvester, Galloway, Morris. Oh, we did Morris, that's okay. Warren, better to say twice. Uh, yeah, did Warren. Matthews, Gwinnett, absolutely, Muhlenberg, thank you, Jennifer, I'm glad you guys are being nice, don't let me make fun of you, Thomas, no, Chase, I think that is, we must have done him, Randolph, Langworthy, Chase, we did, Benson, Kaka, Sylvester, oh, just did it, Bassett, Bure, nope, Hathorn, there it is, no W. Dean, thank you for correcting us. Ingersoll, Coates, nope, Steele, Walton, Humphreys, oh, Freeze, Freeze. Oh, man, okay, I got behind. Oh, you guys are doing it. You guys are really doing it. Why did Humphreys not work? Did we already do Humphreys? Humphreys, there we go, got it. Uh, Lee, Walker, Smith. Rush, Hartley, Giles, Mifflin, Clinton. Oh, must have been. Oh, no, there were no Clinton. They are local. Heister. Uh, Heister? Okay, I before E. Holton, Harrison. Got him. Good Hugh, Jim Morris, Pinckney, Adams. We got Morton, Rhodes. Awesome. I'll have to scroll down because you guys got a little ahead of me. Rhodes. Let's see. Dwayne Reed. Dwayne Reed. Look at that. Uh, Sumter. Bloodworth. They're the worst. The other Reed. Good. Wentworth. Stockton. Oh, must have gotten Stockton. Ellsworth. Borum is spelled differently. Middle. I'm not sure how you even spell it, but it's differently. It's a, tie, it's a really tough name. Izzard, I think we've got. Uh, Robert Joe. There he is. Ellery. Do we do? Climber. With, I think we did. That's okay. All right, I gotta scroll down. Let's see. Oh, oh. Climber with, okay. Willing. Oh, must have done willing. Gary, do we do? Yep. Few, yes, absolutely. If I spell it right, there it is. Floyd, William Floyd from my home area. Uh, Cushing, McKean, Pinkney, we got. Yep. Penn, Gunn, Sumter, do we do? Yes. Bland, do we do? Yes. Baldwin, do we do? Nope. Paca, I think we did. Foster, it's all right. Sam twice. It's better to Sam twice, not all. Hooper, Huntington, Gorham, Lewis, Braxton, I think we did. Bassett, I think we did. That's okay. Okay, let me catch up a little bit. Braxton, okay. Read, we did. Dayton, Let's see. Johnson, absolutely. Nelson, must have done Nelson. Did I spell it right? Okay, must have done it. Clark, I think we did. That's okay. John Stun. Dayton, I think we did. House Stone. Walcott. Livingston. Oh, Livingston? No, yeah. Houston. 
Hamilton. Oh, man. It would be better for Mr. Hamilton. Thank you for making sure, Nick. Hudson. Uh, Livingston just did. Hudson. Okay, almost done that one. Dickinson we did. I mentioned our interview on Monday. Clark. Barrieroli. And if you're new here, don't get bashful. The names get weird. <laughs> really. Blount. Name football players is a pretty good hint. Franklin? Do we do Franklin? Room. Lee, Patterson, Rumble, Winnet. Oh, we did Gwinnett. That's right. Whipple, I think we did. That's okay. King. Don't want to miss King. Rufus. Hughes. Lewis. I think we did. That's right. Thatcher. Uh, Tucker. Wilson. Skyler. Absolutely. Fitz. Simmons. We did. Yeah. Uh, Lawrence. Absolutely. Must have done it. Sherman. I think we did. That's okay. Lawrence. Uh, okay. Sherman and Lawrence after that. Oh, yep. Shut me down. Uh, Carol. I think we did. Lawrence. Lawrence. Nope. Oh, okay. Lawrence. I'm doing it again. Okay. Ingersoll. Another one. I think we got. That's all right. Hayward. I don't think we did. Climber. Yes. It's a correct answer, but I think we did it. Jedi. Yeah, you know what, Diamond? The first time is very intimidating. Thank you for being. Thank you for staying around. It is fun. <laughs> I, I I definitely understand. Uh, it's 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 a lot. <laughs> Boom, <laughs> climber, and these are all important names. Like I could talk about. I don't want to say most of these names off the top of my head, but, but yeah, a majority of these names at this point we could talk about. Brown. Look, you guys, same page. Well played. Gwinnett, we did. Dayton, I think we did too. Uh, White, we did. Rutledge. Yeah, we did. Okay, that's a great family. Just did Wilton, Dalton. Absolutely. Okay, so Wilton, Dalton. Let me catch up a little bit. Oh, switch me down. Drayton. Yates. Ross. Rodney. Lansing. Henry. We did Henry. That's okay. Blair. Stockton. Uh, we did. Stone. Yep. Hart. I think we did. Swan. No, but James Swan is a really interesting character. He's the one who ends up buying America's debt from France. Wilson, uh, Thornton, Walton, Spates, Richard Dobbs, Spate, Gadsden with the Don't Tread on Me flag. Rutledge, we just did. It's at least two. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Yes, and Rutledge. <gasps> Pendleton. Must have done. Did I spell right? Pendleton. Yes. Wingate. Absolutely. Martin, I think we did. Yes, Wingate. I, I know what you're going for, Ashley. If you guys are just a little bit off, I will correct it. Jackson. Okay. Who was the uh, Secretary of the Continent? Jackson was Secretary of the Constitutional Convention. Who was Secretary of the Continental Congress for, like, the whole time? Uh, Wingate. Middle... Middleton? I think we did. Anyway, yeah. Even if I can't spell. Um, Gray? McKean? Uh, Butler? Absolutely. Look at you guys. Same page. Well played. Black. No, I don't think so. Uh, Rodney. Uh, Stone. Blount. I think we did. Uh, football player names work. Climber. Uh, Spate. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Went down pretty far. Okay. Let's see. Do we do Pigney? Yep, we did. That's okay. Thornton. We did. Morton. I believe we did also. Few. I think we did. Bedford, I don't think, okay, yes, we did, Ross, I think we did, that's all right, keep them coming, same twice, McHenry, see, Bartlett, we didn't do all of them, Josiah Bartlett, Henry, we just did, Smith, we did, Blair, yes, uh, Payne, we did, Telfair, yep, there it is, Gorm, do we do, yeah, we did, Benson, oh, we did, we did Wilson, Ellery, uh, Gilman, I don't know if we did, McKean, I think we did, Baldwin, I think we did. That's all right. Keep them coming. We're not even halfway done yet. So we got this. We got this. Oh, 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 oh. Wolcott. Gaylord. I feel like you try that one every week, Warren. It doesn't seem to work. Brearley. Uh, Izzard. I think we did. A few of you said Izzard. That's a fun name, isn't it? Mifflin. Dunder Mifflin. Uh, Gary. Um, Son. Yes. Well played, Troy. I'll, I'll update it. Uh, Clark. Collins, Masterson, nope, that's an interesting guess though, Hancock, do we do Hancock, yeah, okay, good, don't want to forget Hancock, Husmer, uh, Lynch, Jaylord, okay, fair enough, I'll take it, 
Hansen. I'll, I'll assume that's a compliment. Uh, Witherspoon, I think we did. Which question are we on? We are still on name all of the founders involved with the American found with the legislative part of the American founding. Lovell, Holton, uh, Penn. I don't know. We're doing good. This might be the last week we do this because we might be breaking this record. Hughes, uh, Dean, we did. Floyd, we did. Uh, Hall, we did. Cooper, Strong. Just keep guessing names. Yep, just keep guessing names. Scudder, the doctor who died in battle. Hall, Dwayne. We, do, we just did Hall, right? Yeah. Uh, Lewis. Harnett. That's right. It's not Hartnett, like Josh Hartnett. Harnett. Mackley, absolutely. Smith, we did. Henson. Good guess. Stanton, absolutely. Do we do with? Yes. Langdon. Don't want to leave out John Langdon. Taka. Uh, Dewar. Nelson, Braxton, I think we did, Klingon, I think we did, Walker, we did, Elmer, we did not do, absolutely, Ross, uh, Penn, Marchant is at least two, Stone, did I catch up? I caught up, sweet, Grayson, that's right, I was going to actually hint at that one, Black we, is not a correct answer, White is, but I think we did it. Oh, 199. Eight minutes left. We got plenty of time. Carol, uh, Bannister, Collins. These are not wrong answers. They're just ones we already did. So it's it's all right to say them twice. Uh, Walton. Yep. Again, right. Hart. Oh, Harvey. Nice. Noise. Uh, let's see if I want to scroll down a little bit. We're at 200. Um, Hancock, we did. Pew, we did. Hancock. Pew. Uh, let's see. We have Constitutional Convention delegate from Virginia and a president of the Con Convention Congress from Virginia. Uh, Ash, great. Gary, I think we got. Alsop, you know, I did all that research, haven't written the paper yet. Wadsworth, I think. Oh, okay, Ashley. Oh, you almost missed one of the worst. That's usually your MO. Davy, good. Sturgis, like the Modi cycles. Trumbull, did we do that one? We did. We have Hart, we might have done. Sullivan. Oh, don't miss John Sullivan either. Sini. Awesome. Conti. Another one of those strange names. Again, uh, for those of you who are new hanging out, <laughs> the, we're, we're getting in the weeds and some random founders. But if you are new here, uh, you know, I write articles all week long. On Thursdays, I talk about the seven articles I publish about random American founders. So you've come to the right place if you want to learn about some of these names you never heard of. These are all American founders, believe it or not. It's not just the six dudes that they talk about in high school. Same Thomas, um, no Troy, but you're close with the St. Thomas. Daniel of St. Thomas's last name was something else. Uh, Bedford, uh, Blair, Muhlenberg, one of those names. I we did it early this time. Yeah, Fitzsimmons. We did Mercer. Good one. Oh, Ashley, it's Van Rensselaer. We got to put it in the van. Remember, we got screwed on that one time? Smith. Uh, Vining. Absolutely. Jennifer. There it is. Historical. And we must have already done it. <laughs> okay. McClurg. Such a good hint. Wasted. McClurg. Nice. Right up there at top. Blount. I think we got. Random founders. Yes. <laughs> Smythe. No. Not Con Smythe. That's a Canadian. That's why the trophy has the... That's why the hockey trophy has <laughs> called the Con Smythe. Uh, Tileman. Tillman. I should... Oh, it's Till Man. That's probably two right there. Griffin, do we do? Oh, Griffin King, I think we got. Gorham, I think we got, yeah. St. Clair. Oh, we didn't get St. Clair. Whoa, played. Mitchell, nope. Again, Ashley, every week. <laughs> the name I want to always say, too, but there was no Mitchell. Moore, Ooh, don't want to forget that. Taylor, definitely. Stevens, no. Rodney, oh, don't want to forget Caesar Rodney. Rodney, I guess we already got Caesar Rodney. Okay, fair enough. Jennifer, yes, we got it. All right, awesome. Lansing, I just got him because that's the correct answer. Patterson, uh, I think Patterson has one T, but and we got it anyway. Okay, Heister, I think we did actually do because it was spelled backwards before. Kent, interesting guess. Davy, we just got. Uh, Otis for sure, but we must have already done it. Cole, I think we got that one early. Garland, interesting. 
Ramsey. Ramsey. Okay. Both correct answers, but not on this one. Dana. Ooh. Francis Dana. Really important guy. Don't want to forget him. He went and met Catherine the Great. Uh, she didn't want anything to do with him. Grout. Man who made the first telegraph. Win Coop. Uh, I believe he was murdered by one of his slaves. Sumter. Uh, Lovell. Griffin. Dana. Right. Strong. Holton. Did we do that one? Okay. Oh, Sedgwick. Absolutely. One really important freedom suit in Massachusetts. Holton. Warren. I think we did Spate. Oh, we did not do Cynixon. Yes. Good one. Went. Worth. Oh, must have done. I think we did the worst. Leonard. That's right. Oh, three minutes. Oh, okay. Uh, McClurg. Guthrie. Nope. Okay, we got just under four minutes to get 19 more. Thatcher, I think we did. Hosmer. Ah, I must have done it. Jackson did it. Let's see. We run through, find some names. Oh, there's one here from uh, uh, a congressman from Virginia. Let's see. Ingersoll. Gale, that's one. Gale. Ames. Do we get it? Ames. Collins. Uh, Heister, we did. I spelled it both ways. Hers. <laughs> Um, uh, which state we got left? We have one from Virginia, Partridge, that might be it, Parker, uh, Reed, we did, Conti, we have, uh, nothing from Pennsylvania, we have New York, ooh, a bunch from New York, oh, oh, I just wrote about the guy's nephew was a coward, uh, and hid in the boat, uh, if you recall that, I think we talked about it last week, maybe two weeks ago, Van Dyke, is one for sure. Um, service, uh, service. No, but I know what you're thinking of. You are the ah, uh, and I can't think of it. Low, absolutely. Uh, good one. Um, Wisner, thank you for paying attention, Captain. That makes me feel awesome that you remembered that. Thank you so much. Uh, Herring, yes, there's New York. Okay, we got New York. Bannister, did we get? Uh, Blount, we did Swingle. <laughs> that's, a, that's not the right name. That's a funny name. We got Grayson. I think we got Dwayne, too. Good guesses. Good guesses. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, we got through New York, New Jersey. We need... Oh, a president of the Continental Congress. I just talked about this guy yesterday. A president of the Continental Congress. He signed the preliminary articles of peace. Uh, Higginson. Yes. Did we already do that one? We must have. Oh, he was in the Continental Congress. Didn't sign anything important. Gary, no, it's Gary, and I think we did that, yeah. Dewar, no, nice, good guess, though, that's a correct answer. Butler, uh, Boudin, no, there it is, Ashley, thank you so much. Crane, Kinsey, awesome. Uh, New Jersey, New Jersey, New Jersey, uh, two people in the first time in the Congress. We need one congressman from South Carolina, Crane. Okay, we must have done it. Uh, Balsam, absolutely, did we ever do that? Oh, Burke, yes, Burke. Yes, well played. Tomorrow's founder is a different Burke, a Thomas Burke. Very interesting. So we still need people from there. Uh, Maryland, we are missing some First Continental Congress delegates, uh, as well as a First Continental Congress delegate from Connecticut. Uh, let's see, answers coming in. Ash, I think we did. Robert Doe, you guys are all about Robert Doe today. Sevier, nice, Lynch, because we did get the two Thomas Lynches, father and son. Uh, Delaware, we got. North Carolina, First Continental Congressman from North Carolina. Oh, Goldsboro. That's right. Wow, you guys remember Tad Wallader is at least one. Uh, uh, Till M. No. Uh, Dyer. Nice. Scudder. Awesome. Uh, Leonard. I think we did. Ames. Hanson. Did we do? We did Caswell. Oh, we didn't do Caswell. You nailed it. That's awesome. We did it earlier today. Oh, Stevens. Uh, uh, 16 seconds. Oh, we need two more. Uh, we need from, oh, someone from New Hampshire. Uh, Col Coles. Uh, Klingon. Uh, King. Mifflin. No, it's like random kind of congressman. Oh, man. <laughs> no, you guys are still going. I'm a few seconds ahead of you. Oh, man. We missed two people 
Oh, man. I mean, that's awesome. That's awesome. We tied our record. We got all of Virginia. We got all of Pennsylvania. We got all of Massachusetts and all of New York. We got all of South Carolina. We got all of Connecticut. We got all of Maryland. We got all of Delaware. We got all of North Carolina. We got all of Georgia. We got all of Rhode Island. The only people we missed were Samuel Livermore from New Hampshire, who we usually get, and James Sherman from New Jersey, who we sometimes get. Yes. Ashley has it right. Everyone remember Sherman. So like when you do Sherman, like we always get Roger Sherman. But I think this name is also pronounced right here. I think this name is also pronounced Sherman. So it's Sherman and Sherman. Uh, and then Livermore. Uh, if we got his name right, we'd be living more. That's super lame. But I hope it helps you remember. <laughs> Sometimes lame catchphrases help you remember. So close. Uh, 99 is better than a passing grade. This is awesome. And honestly, I we were like kind of behind for a minute there. I thought we were not even going to get this close. So I'll put myself back up here. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> we tied our record. We tied our record. Uh, no, I guess I should write articles about Sherman and Livermore this week. I don't know if I've ever even written about either of them. Let's, let me, you know what? While we're here, let's pull it up. I got really bright. I will pull this over here. So I'm not so bright. Same colors. Uh, let's go here and do um, Livermore. Did I do a Livermore? I'm super interested. We are so, I'm sorry, Troy. I did not, I've never written about Livermore. Uh, and how do you spell Schwarman? Sherman, Sherman, Sherman. Uh, where did it even go? Oh, here it is. Uh, Sher, Sher, Sherman, Sherman. Sorry guys, I'm not, I don't want to bore you here, but I'm, I'm, need to find out. <laughs> it's, I, okay, so you can expect articles on both of these people this week. <laughs> Have I written about George Reed? Um, yeah, Reed's one of those names I definitely covered probably a long time, like probably two or three years ago. Um, I'm not sure what I focused on with his article because Reed is a really important guy. He has a whole lot. Uh, Sherman, S-C-H-E-U. -S now I lost it. Uh, George Reed, yeah, New Delaware, New Nation. Yeah, I wrote about him a long time ago. I should probably write another one about him. It's been too long. I should probably... Some of these more important people, I've been recently focusing on different aspects of their lives um, instead of the whole greater shaboozle, as they say. Um, uh, I I don't recall. Good night, but I'll be done in just a minute, all right? Now you're tired. You get a good night's sleep. All right. I don't know what to say. I'm very, I'm very, I'm both like disappointed and super excited. Like that's amazing. That is so many people. So well done team. Thank you for coming. Uh, if you want to hit like on your way out, that is hugely appreciated. Uh, other than that, I'm going to get going. Yeah, there it is, Lauren. Thank you so much. And, and you know, Lauren reminds me, thank you to the Patriots on Patreon who helped keep this channel alive and, and to everyone who's recently donated on uh, PayPal, uh, you know, I'm just trying to offset some of the costs it takes to run Founder of the Day. So if you have any spare change, that would be super helpful. But the most important thing you can do, as many of you have, is hit like on your way out. Uh, so thank you so much. You guys are amazing. I will be back on Monday. I, with, I have an interview with Dr. Jane Calvert. We are doing the end of John Dickinson's life. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and we finally figured out our sound. So it finally sounds right. So uh, thank you for coming. Misfit is right. Peace field. I'm going to go. I will see you guys on Monday. And thank you, Troy. Have a drink for, have a drink for, for Livermore. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Troy. Uh, thank you, everyone. Peace field. I will see you on Monday.